What's going on guys and welcome to another Reputized video. Peppermint stars Jennifer Gardner is all about this mother who witnesses her family dying right in front of her of a drive-by shooting. Her daughter and her husband both gets killed. In this horrific incident in the wake you get corrupt cops, corrupt DEAs and judges. So the system fails her. And five years later she shows up to exact bloody revenge. This is pretty much a revenge story that has been told countless of times. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to compare it to The Punisher. Because she's taken out the bad guys in a very lethal way. Okay, the pros. I'm going to say that it was nice seeing Jennifer Garner again. She's one of those actresses that has pretty much kind of dropped off the map. She was in Daredevil and then Elektra. And then, you know, they may be more, but... Not that I know of. She's she's just one of those that, 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 that hadn't really had a good hit here lately. And Peppermint, it just seems that that's probably going to be another one for her. That's going to be a mess. But again, I'm not knocking it completely. It was a good action movie. The story was well told. And it really made you care about Jennifer Garner's character. The pain, the suffering, the loss that she has endured. It, it, it's... It's baffling. The director, Pierre Morel, who also directed Taken and The Gunman, did a pretty good job. His style of filmmaking is somewhat, you know, stylized than others. The editing in it was a little choppy, but not bad. The action sequences in it was not bad. It was well paced, but there was some slow parts in it that kind of made me like, Come on, let's get to it. But again, that's not a that's not a degrade from it. It was still a good action flip. If you like watching Jennifer Garner kick butt, then I suggest this movie for you. The cinematography and the lighting and all that was done really very well. You could see every, there's a lot of dark scenes in it, but you could see everything, so it was lit very well. And like I said, the pros to this was Jennifer Garner. She was a badass. It kind of did prove that to this movie to everybody that Jennifer Garner can hold out her own. Plus the action sequences in it wasn't bad. Now the cons. Okay this compared to John Wick it's no John Wick guys I'm sorry. John Wick captured the magic of what a true action revenge type story was. And with John Wick it was more sympathetic. You you actually felt for this character more than you did Pampermint. But again, Peppermint was its own movie. And like I said, I'm not knocking it. It does make you really feel for Jennifer Garner's character. Especially at the beginning. But then it just turns into a you know regular revenge type movie that really had no magic to it. It was still a good action flick. They did their best. It just didn't live up to expectations. As far as the Peppermint title goes, it's kind of irrelevant. Her daughter makes a reference to it about the ice cream at the beginning, but that's it. That's all. It's, it's not even Jennifer Gardner's name in the movie. That, so, like, pepper, the whole Peppermint title is irrelevant. You never hear that name again after the beginning. I'm going to give Peppermint an C+. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, and get reputized. Stay tuned for more reviews. Peace the rip out.